Hello Celtics fans, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss Celtics first-hand news and leave your like to strengthen the channel. The Boston Celtics have just over a season to convince Jalen Brown to remain with the team long-term and ink a new deal when his current one expires in the summer of 2024. However, according to Bleacher Report's Andy Bailey, the Celtics could potentially look to part ways with Brown this summer rather than risk losing him for nothing at the end of the season, with Brandon Ingram of the New Orleans Pelicans a potential trade candidate. The Celtics might need some draft compensation to account for Brandon Ingram's injury history, but in terms of talent, this feels pretty even," Bailey wrote. Brown has the edge in defense and efficiency. Ingram is a better handler and shot creator. There's a universe in which both Boston and New Orleans want more of what the other player offers. Ingram, 25, has only played in 39 games for the Pelicans this season, but when healthy, has looked like an all-star level scorer, averaging 24.1 points, 5.1 rebounds, and 5.4 assists per game, while shooting 47.9% from the field and knocking down 40.4% of his looks from the perimeter. Leave your like on this video to keep up to date with everything that happens at Celtics thanks. Continuing. Celtics unlikely to secure blockbuster deal according to a March 24 article from Mass Live, Celtics analyst Brian Robb shared his belief that should Boston look to move on from Jalen Brown, they would struggle to get a blockbuster level return. To preface this, Robb was responding to a question from reader Mike S., who was floating the idea of a potential trade with the Atlanta Hawks that would see Dejant Murray and Anika Akongwu heading to Boston. There's little doubt Atlanta will be one of the teams worth keeping an eye on with Brown giving his roots there, Rob wrote. To be honest, I'd be surprised if Atlanta is willing to offer that good of a deal for Brown if he wants out of Boston. Murray is a borderline all-star and Okongwu is a terrific big man prospect having a great second season. If Brown doesn't want to re-sign in Boston, that's about as good of a haul that they could hope for with the lack of leverage they would have in that situation would expect less in said scenario, which is why the Celtics surely hope they never have to face it. Brown, 26, made his second All-Star team this season and has been a vital part of Boston's rotation, averaging 26.8 points, 6.9 rebounds, and 3.4 assists per game on 49.4% shooting from the field and 34% shooting from deep. Jalen Brown could jump ship in free agency according to an Eastern Conference GM who spoke with heavy on sports Sean Devaney under the condition of anonymity, there is a genuine chance that Brown could look to leave the Celtics once his current deal expires. One reason the Hawks are trying to unload, John, Collins is to get the cap space and be in position to add someone, another star, with Trey, one Eastern Conference executive said. It is not easy to get free agents to Atlanta, but Jalen Brown would be different, they want to be in position, at least, to make a move, if he wants to be there. I think there is not question they are watching the situation with him. Closely. Assuming the Celtics feel that Brown has already made his decision on his future with the team, then a potential star swap with New Orleans could make perfect sense for Boston. However, should Brown be named to an all-NBA team and become Supermax eligible, he will likely re-sign in Boston and continue working towards winning a championship alongside Jason Tatum. Put your opinion in the comments as it is very important for Celtics I update you at any time with the latest news from Celtics.